Hello, I'm Michael LaBarbera, and this is the Smart City Dashboard Project. I'm just going to go through and do a quick rundown just to uh, kind of give a visual summary of the project to go along with my thesis paper. All right, so the first thing when we're greeted in the menu is we can go through and create a city. So we can just create an empty city. Um, I'll just call this test, for example. Um, and you can also specify the size of the city. This is in tiles of the in like the in-map units. Um, so we'll just start off with 30 by 30. You can go all the way up to 100 by 100, but a small city is fine for this initial thing. If you hit the F1 key, you can open up the menu, which allows you to select different build options. The initial build option is this placing of roads. We can place down roads. As you can see, they kind of form together to make what uh, kind of looks like realistic roadways. And you can see we also have a um, traffic light that also has working signals on it. And so if I continue building some more roads, we'll get a more interesting road network. And at this stage, I'm now going to place down some houses. So if I place down houses, eventually you can see vehicles will start spawning in and driving from, uh, from house to house. Um, there's some interesting pathing going on right now, but that's just due to a slight bug that we're still uh, dealing with. This project isn't quite finished. Uh, there's still more code uh, to be worked on. And actually, uh, the project will be released in multiple different stages on the website, and I will make sure that link is provided inside the paper. And so as you can see, the uh, city's getting busier and busier. And in this stage, I can also go through and start putting in sensors as that'll help out the city. So I can place down these camera sensors, will, which will help um, to check to see the traffic density throughout the city. And so once I've placed all of these cameras down that I feel I need, I can hit the tilde key and bring up this menu. And this shows the density throughout the city. So the more red the, uh, the density, the more vehicles and pedestrians that are in that region. And I can also go into the logging menu to see all the sensors that are registered. I can additionally click on them to view where the sensor is placed and uh, see what it's reporting. So this one's reporting some congestion. Right over here, we're getting no congestion whatsoever. And you can just kind of click around and see all the different ones. So it's red right now. And you can see there's quite a few things coming through this area. So let's pop out of this view now. And we can also place down these traffic light sensors. And so if I place this over top the traffic lights, uh, we now have the capability of going into our sensing menu. Um, and I can find the... Uh, oh, it appears they're not popping up for some reason. Uh, I think uh, this is a bug that happens sometime. As I said, this is still a, uh, a work and development version. All I had to do is switch away. And now we can go to the traffic light and we can actually see um, the traffic light flow change timer. So this is how long until the traffic light will switch directions. Um, and we can also um, manually hit the change traffic flow direction and it will toggle manually. We can use this to kind of modify the tra flow of traffic throughout the city as this whole project is kind of focused around um, traffic simulation management stuff. Um, and one other key feature that uh, was created for this project uh, was related to the, um, the ability to create cities via geodata. Um, give me a second while the application reloads. And so what that entails is when we went into the create menu, we also have the option of going to the geodata menu. And so if we enter a location, for example, uh, Buffalo, New York, um, you can then hit the preview button. And this is actually taking Google map data and converting it. And we're, we can use this to build cities from. And so let's just move our map size up to 100. As I mentioned, it can go from anywhere between 30 and 100. Let's take a look. So this is what Buffalo, New York would look like. Um, well, this is, this is a, a map, a real uh, Google Maps data map of Buffalo, New York. And so let's create a uh, map file from that. So let's call this Buffalo, and we'll create the city. And it does some processing in the background, and eventually it will spit out a city. And so here is what Buffalo, New York looks like inside the simulation. Obviously, it's kind of rough around the edges, um, but that's the whole point of this uh, map editor. We can, of course, go through, and we can just, you know, delete uh, redundant roadways and things that we find unnecessary. Um, and kind of tweak as we want, and it, we can simulate traffic on uh, these large scales using actual maps. Um, well, that's everything I have for you, so thank you very much for watching. Um, have a great day.